The next segment on wheel alignment I want to talk about is the steering axis. Now the steering axis is pretty important. So you have this dotted red line here and this is going to be what you'll be rotating the wheel about. So as you can see there's a distance between the center of the tire and the center where the steering axis is. So that distance is called a scrub radius because as you turn that tire around you're going to have to scrub it along the ground to get it to move. It's not going to be rotating about its center which would be ideal because then you wouldn't have any scrubbing. Now you fix this with two things. First you're going to have steering axis inclination so that the top of the steering is a little bit further back than the bottom and then you're going to have this inclined steering axis. Now also to go along with that which I was talking about in the previous video is a slight positive camber. So the slight positive camber and then you can get these two axes to come to a similar point. Not the exact same point but you're going to have a much smaller scrub radius so that tire can rotate more easily. Now since that tire is going to rotate more easily it's going to reduce the effort the driver has to have when you're going at low speeds and turning and it's also going to minimize tire wear because you're not going to be scrubbing it along a large radius. Now there's one other benefit to having an inclined steering axis. So as you can see if you have an inclined steering axis and you've got the shaft going to the tire as you turn that it's going to force the tire down. Uh, let me give a small demonstration here. So if you have this and it's at an incline and then he, this is going to your tire and you rotate this, you can see that the red marker is going down. That's going to be your tire. If your tire is here and you rotate that steering axis, it's going to force the tire to go downward. Now when you force the tire to go downward, obviously the ground's not going anywhere, so your car might actually lift up a little bit, and you can notice that if you're just sitting in a parking lot and you turn your tire all the way to the end of the lock. Now, what this does is, because you have this resistance force when you turn, when you let go of the steering wheel, the car is going to want to go back to where there's less resistance. So it's just going to go right back straight ahead because of that steering axis inclination, which is great because it keeps you going straight when you don't want to turn. And that's steering axis inclination.